A lot of our work is motivated by the desire to enable mankind to be a spacefaring people. But to be able to do that, we need to dramatically improve the kinds of things that we can build in space. Other companies are working on better ways of launching systems into orbit. So we're focusing on better ways to build systems in orbit. Currently, we build everything here on the ground, and then we use a rocket to blast it up into orbit. The approach we're working on is to enable key components of spacecraft to be manufactured on orbit, and then tools such as 3D printers and extruders and robotics that will transform that raw material into the key satellite components such as solar arrays, antennas, or big structures to make a functional space system. So this is a truss segment that is made by a machine that we make called the trussellator. And once you've made 10 meter section or whatever, it can be robotically assembled into larger structures and combined together, we get to a point where now we essentially see that, yes, indeed, it is all possible. We, we've got enough of the technologies, we've got enough of the pieces, now it's just a matter, matter of integrating all these pieces together. One of the things that gets me exciting here is I feel like we are pushing the envelope. We're designing things that 20 years ago people would have said were impossible. We're not interested in 10% improvements. We're interested in technologies that are going to radically reshape the way we do space and defense missions. My hope for the future is that we learn how to manufacture things on orbit and can start building the infrastructure that we need for a self-sustaining economy on orbit and can build the systems that we need to go out and conquer the solar system.